Ähm, ich brauche auf jeden Fall nicht nur körperlich, sondern mental auch einen Break. Hey guys, Ivan here and in today's video we got something really, really interesting. As you can see, Urs Kleczynski finally broke down. If I was to ask you guys which two bodybuilders were the most active in the past couple of years, which of them did the most shows, the most appearances, were the most active even on social media, but also on an actual competitive bodybuilding stage, you would have to say that those two guys are these two right here, Samson Dauda and Urs Kleczynski. Not too long ago, Fuad Abiyar actually made a podcast with these two guys, they were both week out of Arnold Classic, and they were both defending their stance that bodybuilders should compete more often, should do more guest posing, should be more active on social media, they were saying that it was the best approach in terms of business, or health even, also for their careers as competitive bodybuilders. But what about health? Like, oh, man, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of guys are like, I don't want to compete too often because I need to give my body a rest. My blood work was way better when I stayed with my weight in, in, in range, you know. Some guys are like, they're only competing a couple times because it's more advantageous to them career-wise. Well, well, I argue, argue with that, boys, it really though. Many of them guys that take a year off, mm. how often do they always come back? Yeah, do you well, look and go, wow, they change everything? Or do you look and go... I see a little bit of improvement. So you get the idea, the whole podcast was on this topic, whether you should compete more or less often. And both of these guys were strongly defending their stance. However, things have changed. First, as you guys know, we had Samson Dauda having a meltdown on his Instagram, saying that he was gonna retire, that he's gonna go to the hospital, that his body is failing, firing his coach, and uh, there were these stories that I took a screenshot from, where he was looking at food videos and just couldn't wait to end the season. And so today, or yesterday, we got a video from Urs Kleczynski where he says that he needs a break. Mental break, physical break. Let me play this video for you guys and then I'm gonna comment on it. We had um, a long preparation, a steinige preparation. I need, on the way, not only physically, but also mentally, a break. No YouTube videos, not more on Instagram or no new TikToks um, in the next time to get out. Always 100% gegeben, was Bodybuilding angeht, was das Content produzieren angeht, was echt extrem viel Arbeit ist, hat mich selber extrem gestresst dadurch, unter Druck ähm, gesetzt und ja, jetzt erstmal eine kleine Pause zu machen, ähm, die wird gepaart sein natürlich auch erstmal mit der körperlichen Auszeit, die Woche wird nicht trainiert. Alright, so you heard, actually there is another part of this video, we're gonna take a look at that as well, but in this one, he basically says that he needs a break from social media, and from training and from bodybuilding, apparently he is not even gonna be training uh, this week. Is it gonna be only one week or more? Probably more. And he's not gonna post anything on his social media, on his Instagram, on his YouTube, and on his TikTok. So there will be nothing on Urs on social media. And this guy was like probably the most active guy on social media, one of the, one of the for sure. And he needs to take some rest. Now, as far as competing, I don't remember when this guy took a break last time. I mean, he did so many freaking shows. He was doing Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia every single year for the past, I don't know, three years or more. And he was also doing post-Arnold and post-Olympia shows as well. That is a whole lot of shows, guys. For example, last year he did that Texas stage show after the Mr. Olympia, which he won, and then also he went to Czech Republic and he competed in Prague Pro as well, which he also won. Was it the healthiest thing for his body? Probably not. Was it the best thing for him mentally? Also probably not. Was it advantageous, though, for his career? Well, at that point it probably was, because he was winning, but if it cost him a placement in the next show he's doing, a big show, such as Arnold Classic, is it then? Is the reason for him placing so low at the Arnold Classic Ohio, or even worse, at the Arnold Classic UK, the fact that he did too many shows in the year prior? Well, it very well could be. It could be, because he did look fried. He did look like he was tired, his body was tired, and mentally he was probably too tired as well to keep pushing to actually bring the best out of his physique. Was this Urs's best? No, it definitely wasn't. Arnold UK was a bit different story, but at that show he also lost to Brian. He actually placed lower than Brian Ainsley for the first time in I don't know how many years. And that's also something Urs comments on. Let me show you. 
würde ich sagen, oder uns, dem Team und mir auf jeden Fall gelungen. Gerade in UK haben wir auf jeden Fall mein bestes Paket ever auf die Bühne gestellt. Eins ist klar, die haben auf jeden Fall einen Bären ziemlich, ziemlich hungrig gemacht, gerade in UK. Ähm, ja, aber das Ganze wird auf jeden Fall ganz anders verlaufen zum Olympia. Das heißt erstmal einen Schritt zurück und dann zwei Schritte vorwärts, denn... All right, that's very interesting. Urs basically says that he got very angry and like very hungry because he lost to Brion, because they put Brion ahead of him in this show. Also, he thinks that this was his best ever. Was it? Really? There is a lot of people who believe that Brion should have placed ahead of Urs at the Arnold Classic Ohio, but Urs improved a lot for the Arnold UK, and not a lot of people thought he would have placed lower than Brion. However, Urs beat Brion at the Ohio and then he lost to him at the Arnold UK, which was really confusing. Personally, I could see an argument for Brion beating Urs because of his upper body, fullness and conditioning, but I would never give it to Brion because of the legs, because he has no legs. As he aged, his legs went down and down and down in size, and today, like, he has no sweep, basically, literally zero sweep. And that's just throwing me off way too much. So in my opinion, Urs should have placed ahead of Brion, but was this his best, really? Because he feels like it was. Personally, I don't really think so. I think he did look good, he looked great, for his standards, even. But I think he was sharper and just more fresh in some of his earlier shows. For example, here you can see 2023 Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia. And even though he wasn't exactly blasting full, he was just, you know, really hard, really sharp. He really showed a lot of details. Conditioning was great and his classic lines, his silhouette, his shape and proportions were all exaggerated because of this conditioning, this, this peak that he was bringing last year. This year, something was wrong. Something was way off. At the Arnold Classic UK, as you can see right here, he did improve significantly. He definitely came in a lot fuller, but with that fullness, he lost some of that conditioning, some of that sharpness. And I think that's probably why he lost this show. He wasn't in his signature conditioning. He was off for his standards. I'm sure all of you guys know who Urs's coach is. It's Stefan Kainz. And you can say that Urs kind of made him popular, you know, made his name. I mean, Urs is definitely one of the more popular, the most followed bodybuilders today. And uh, his coach was in so many of his videos. So that's why, at least me, I know about this guy. Yeah, he coached some other guys, but I think he made his name through Urs. However, he also prepped Urs's biggest competition this season, Wesley Wissers. And Wesley beat Urs. And how does Urs feel about that? That's not something we're gonna go into today, because he didn't say anything about it, we have no information, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that he's not exactly the happiest about it. I know I wouldn't be, I mean, of course, he can't say anything, but I'm sure he's not exactly super happy about it. Anyways, if you were thinking that maybe it was a coaching issue, and that's why Urs was off, it was not, because the same guy coached Wesley, and Wesley came in at 101%, and Urs was just way, way off. I was wondering why this was, but I guess now we got an answer. It's all the shows that he did so far. He was just burnt out, just like Samson. He just couldn't do it anymore, and now he's gonna take a step back, so no, Urs is not retiring, yeah, he needs a break, but it's only to take a step back so he can make two steps forward. And I spoke about this earlier too. I thought Urs needs a break if he wants to really bring in his 100%. And not only in terms of peaking, right, but also by improving his physique. Yeah, I know he doesn't have much room left, but he doesn't need to grow like, I don't know, a couple of inches on his arms. He just needs a little bit more detail, if you ask me, and he's gonna look so much better. So right now, I don't really see this guy surpassing Ramon Dino and Wesley Wissers, but who knows? I mean, look at him right here next to Chris Bumstead. I mean, this guy has like crazy classic shape, you know, in terms of a small waist and good proportions, good symmetry and stuff like that, with those freaking legs as well as a dominant body part. He has a lot going for him. In my opinion, he just needs some time off to relax, to let his body relax and his mind as well, so he can push hard again very hard, with a lot of passion, and just focus on improving. Is he gonna have enough time to refresh until the Mr. Olympia 2024? I don't know. I, I don't think so. 
I think it's not enough time. In my opinion, he should take a whole year off now. I mean, he was already qualified for the Mr. Olympia. He didn't need to do the Arnold Classic, Ohio or UK. Those two shows brought him nothing. Nothing good, at least. It is what it is now. Should he do the Mr. Olympia? Maybe not, but I'm sure he will do it anyways. We'll see what he can do at the Mr. Olympia this year. If you guys think he can beat Wesley Wissers or challenge Ramon Dino, tell me in the comment section down below. If you don't think so, tell me that as well. And do you think a year off would actually help him or is he like maxed out in terms of potential? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.